so we've just come to Bassenthwaite Lake Station, I don't know if I've said that right, probably have said that right. Um, there's, I'm not really sure whereabouts we are supposed to go, but we're here for breakfast. So, what do you think that is? Looks like PG Tips person. Probably not. Yeah, that's a big locomotive. <laughs> Look, yeah, he probably would have. This is your stop, Aini. Yeah, probably best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't do those steps. Anyway, we'll just... I'm just going to check out the toilets. <laughs> no, not like that. There's <laughs> still a bit of on the side. Yeah. And I suppose that would be quite a... <laughs> Bring your stick, take your stick. <laughs> yes. What does the find me? So yeah, apparently this is the train that was used in Murder on the Orient Express with Johnny Depp in it. And I think well, there's quite a lot of famous people in it actually, but um, probably Judy Dench was in there somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. It's felt lots of her kind of a movie. So yeah. Um, I guess to do a bit of research as to whatever it was actually used or not because I'm not 100% sure but it's still a really nice area to have it let's see if we can get like a bit of footage from right down the front <laughs> see there, they do some work to that place there but I don't know what it's going to end up being um, but yeah whether this is the actual train they used in the film, I don't know. I think there might have been something from the front here. <laughs> yeah, it's quite an impressive... Quite an impressive train, really, to sit on and have your breakfast. And here comes Ian. <laughs> so... Maybe we'll try and get a thumbnail. <laughs>
feels like it's a me trip. I feel like Ian really wanted to go here, so. It sounded interesting and it's the perfect thing for today because it is a bit of a miserable day. Oh yeah, it's so rainy. But good news everyone. Look at how <laughs> look at how nice and clear my windscreen looks now. Yeah. There is no crack well. Yeah, there's no cracks, no chips, and it is watertight. Just so for now, there is no crack on the windscreen, but... Whether we can get home, we still yeah, saying that. I know. I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm just hoping that it just stay crack-free. So, um, yeah, let's go to the distillery, hey, hey. <laughs> So there's the Lakes Distillery. He told me the last minute we were here and I was like, oh damn, I need to film something. So, is it? Oh, is this the way on? Oh, so this is the way on. Yes. So it's okay, this is the way on. In case anyone was wondering. This is the way on. Oh, that's a nice little car park. In places. Car park in So anyway, let's go in. So we're just walking down towards the gates now. There's like a little seating area over there. So we could sit, we got a bistro So they'd have a bistro here that does food that Ian's been banging on about for days. And there's the Graceland gates. <laughs> it's very Elvis Graceland. Apparently it used to be like a farm. Oh right, okay. So let's go in and have a look. So I think these all represent all the grains and berries and that that they used to make the gins and oh, whiskeys right, okay. and that. So that'll be the malt for the whiskey. Probably berries for the the gin. coffee pods. The drops of cards there. This is shot. What the Ruskin is, I'm not sure. So this is the bistro. Yeah, so wow, it's very bistro and have the cake. He keeps going about this bistro and the cake, so I suppose uh, we'll go in and have a look yeah, what the bistro and the cake's like. <laughs> Some 
Hey, so we've just come out now. Um, we had to wait around for a little while because in I needed my driver samples <laughs> to take home. With he this. didn't ask loud enough for his driver's samples and then a table in front decided to have a massive discussion about the place and the architecture. So Ian just waited like a, like a British good boy. Person, yeah. Um, so we're just having a look around now because... Um, I'm guessing it must be back the other way, the llamas. We are coming back this way tomorrow to um, feed llamas. But yeah, um, it was a good experience. Yeah, we, the, obviously there was a lot of information, so most we didn't yeah. think in. But not it, something that was worth filming the whole scenario. But it was interesting but looking around and hearing the history of the place. I learnt that gin is just vodka that's been infused with. Yeah, gin. A certain amount of. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Vodka is gin with no flavour in it. Isn't that what she said? Yeah. Vod well, gins. Vodka with added flavours. Yeah, so basically I said the other way around. <laughs> a certain percent, a certain amount of. Yeah. A certain. Is it juniper? Yeah, a certain amount of something in it that, that makes it juniper. As you can see, it's lots sunk in. <laughs> yeah, obviously. But anyway, yeah, we just did it for the experience. What yeah. was it, £18? It was £18, which. Each. Yeah, so it wasn't the so cheapest experience. We're going. Which way are we going? This one's I think it's going to be up here. I just don't know. Well, don't get run over. Okay, let's come in. So there's a car coming, we're gonna get ran over, so let's see if this vlog vlog makes it. <laughs>